Okay, so in this tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at the um, clipping brushes. So just make yourself a new sphere, T to go to edit. Let's change this to matte up grey and use Ctrl D to subdivide it a couple of times. Okay, so to get to the clipping brushes, well, you can just hit B and then C. And you can see you've got the different clipping tools here. So the first one we're going to try is Clip Curve. Now, see here it says Control and Shift. You need to press. So if you hold down, you'll see it's not actually put it up there, but if I hold Control and Shift, I'll actually get it up here. So just try it out straight away. If you just draw a line, you'll see you get a line with a. Um, <coughs> a gradient come off, coming off it and this basically means to whichever side the gradient is pointing that's the side that's going to be clipped off so if we just let go here you'll see it's just clipped off that area there um, so it's really kind of useful for making these kind of flat surfaces it works very well when you've got like a small kind of area you want to kind of clip off like that You'll see on that side when you did it, um, because the gradient's pointing inwards, um, it gets rid of everything in of the line. You can solve that by either going up instead of going it's going from down to up instead of up to down, or by rotating around your mesh. Um, let's just undo that. So where it falls apart is let's try it on a bigger kind of area. Here. Okay, let's try it even bigger, let's say there. Yeah, you'll see there it's hasn't quite worked properly there. Um so other things so just hold control shift and you go into the mode. Um and obviously it's called a curve, and the way you activate the curve is by if I say you go to here, and then if you tap alt, you see I now have a curve point. So I can now do something like that. Let's see how I get the curve. Or if I come up the other side, remember to start going from down to up instead of up to down. Just press Alt. So that's why it's called curve service because you can do that. Um, I hold Control Shift to go into it again, and this time draw another line. And then instead of just pressing press Alt once and then press it again, I can actually get a straight edge to my model. Let's try that again. Obviously, obviously I'm drawing up the wrong way there. That's why that's happening. So. And there you go, so you can see you can get a nice kind of flat edge to it as well. Like so. Um, other things we have in Clipping Brush, if we just hold Control and Shift and then click on the brushes, so we also have something called Clip Circle. Well, let's just bring in a new sphere. We'll make it Polymesh 3D and subdivide it a few times. And then this time we're going to select Clip Circle. And I just want you to try drawing on there. And obviously what it does there is, if we just draw again, it's keeping whatever we had selected. If we, if you do that and then hold Alt, whoops, well, hold Control Shift, drag, and then press Alt. You see the way it goes black. That means it will actually cut out from the mesh there. As you can see at the moment, I'm drawing, I'm creating a circle from wherever I've clicked from. What you can do is actually go to 
clip circle center here and then you can actually and hold alt to make sure that um, you're minusing instead of adding and you can see you can actually draw from the center just as I was saying before if you if you do it at like a too big a change you might get some kind of errors off it like that um, to be honest, you can actually activate that centre mode at any point. If you just click on here, you see you've got um, centre there. So you can just turn that on at any point. You don't necessarily have to pick based on these here. So yeah, that's the uh, clipping tool.